Libra, oh Libra, what's up Libra, get, 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 gang, what's up baby, what's going on in the life of a Libra between the 1st and the 15th of December, hmm, hmm, y'all healing, hmm, hmm, y'all falling in love with yourself, meshing that masculine, feminine energy like, <laughs> <laughs> hey boo hey if this is your first time viewing my channel i'm mocha also if the first time if this is your first time viewing my channel i cuss so if cussing does not work for you please feel free to find one of these other beautiful readers on youtube that can resonate with you better without cussing because me and my higher self we, we we here we cuss okay um this may or may not resonate with everyone as it's not a personal reading it is a general if you need a personal feel free to Find that information within the description and hit me up, okay? To all of my new as well as returning subscribers, hey, family, hey. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We are a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and we don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We love. We share. We evolve. Positive vibes only over here, okay? Um, This will be from the 1st to the 15th of December. I know. I know. I'm tardy to the party. Look here. I'm going to be late to my funeral. My mama, we not already discussed this. So if if, if y'all, if I get there before y'all, y'all asses may not be in the right place, okay? So look out. Forgive me for my tardiness. I'm working on it. That's one of my 2019 goals because I be late everywhere. I don't know if it's just the Aries thing. I don't know. But I, it's like when I try not to be late, I be late. When I plan shit, it don't go accordingly. But when I just say fuck it, I'm just going to do it. I'll be on time. So maybe I'm just going to take a fuck it approach because I think too damn much. I got to leave Verizon. Do you blame me? Y'all can understand. Let's rock. All right. So this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Libra. Um, Y'all, thank you again for all of my shares, um, my likes. Y'all, my comments, thank you. I appreciate every piece of love that y'all give me. If y'all must know, it makes me cry a little bit. I'm a little sensitive because I'm not used to people loving on me like this. It's new shit. This year has been a very love on me year, and it's different because I'm so used to, you know, being the underdog. So I got to say, y'all, thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. I truly appreciate it. And as we continue to grow, I promise I vow never to switch up because I'm working on my professional side. But you know what? We're going to get that shit together. Now, let's rock and roll. All right. Um, Starting with your spirit message, Libra, during this time, a lot of you all may come into a new gift where you're able to see or the auras of people. Like you're able to see um, the aura that they carry around their vibrations. Um, a lot of you all will also be balancing, kind of stepping back during this time and balancing your views on things. You know, do I choose too much? Do I choose the we or the me? Because they both need work. Okay. A lot of you all, you're choosing to see during this time. Maybe in the past, I feel that. A lot of you guys had a blindfold on. You love someone so much that you did not want to see their flaws to the point where it felt that it took something away from you as far as loving yourself. Some of you all, some of you all are very intuitive during this time. Some of y'all are going to also be falling in love with an intuitive, but you first have to come to that spiritual, to come to union within yourself and balance the masculine and the feminine energies within yourself. That means all of those creative ideas, all of those beautiful, beautiful discoveries about the self. Now it's time to implement them, Libra. Okay? For some of you all during this time, Spirit wants you to take the mask off and see everything for what it is. Even your emotions around certain subjects. Even the things within ourselves, the ugliest of the ugliest things within ourselves that we don't want to see. Spirit says it's time to take the blindfold, the blindfold off, baby. It's time for you to see it and know that you're protected and know that there ain't never no judgment, but there's always progression. You understand? Know that you are grace. Know that you are favored. Some of you all are having a hard time with taking a leap of faith because you fear, you fear the steps that it requires to get to this newness. There's this need to heal that internal fear around what it is that you're doing, how people view you and your work and what it is that you do. Fuck them. They just people shit. People going to talk whether you broke or you balling. It's people shit. They talk about Beyonce. 
She's a rich bitch. You understand? So what I have to tell myself is when I get in this low place, you know, because the Aries mind be like, fuck them. But the Libra mind say, no, I can learn from them. It's not fuck them. Instead of looking at it from fuck them, look at it from the fact that I just want to be successful. And Oprah ain't got no damn friends. Let's roll. Okay? So, ooh, during this time, a lot of you all are really needing to choose your integrity out of situations and, and, and truly, 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 truly demand the respect that you deserve, Libra, because I feel like some of you all have been internally beat and bruised because of how people treat you or how people, how you've allowed people to treat you. There's this, there's this inner knowing during this time that I am important. My feelings matter. And it's not always about the wellness of the damn group. But it's about me respecting my own integrity during this time. Some of you all in the midst of the fast talkers, the manipulators, okay, the snakes. Spirit wants you to know that you're, you're protected, okay? You are protected. Your integrity in situations is protected, okay? Some of you all are really needing to find balance for yourself. Some of you are really, really, really needed to find balance around work as well as dealing with your health during this time because some of you all need to go to the doctor. Some of you all need to find a healthy balance between work and your family, okay? I feel that there's this focus on stability, stability, stability so much that you're taking away the credit from all of your beautiful seeds that you've already sown. Because you're focusing on what you don't see or what you don't have or what's not there or what you're not getting. There's this need to balance things. Balance your thoughts. Balance your structure. Okay? For some of you all, you're really needing to get outside more as well as learning how to hone your abilities for my new intuitives. Because during this time, spirit is going to be pouring information out of your third eye. Some of you guys may receive, uh, may actually be experiencing a download uh, about the middle of the month. I know this goes into the 15th, but I am seeing the middle of the month there's going to be a massive download that's going to require you to move forward in a new way. Some of you all are really, really, really going to learn how to trust yourself. If you ain't never before in life, you're going to learn how to trust yourself and embrace the lessons around love instead of holding them um, to the point where they become external or internal baggage because you hold on to it to become a place of fear for you not to allow anyone else in and spirit is saying no more Libra fear what fear not okay some of you all some of you all are learning about meditations some of you all are really focusing on learning and really embracing and really truly 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 in, in, in engulfing yourself in yourself and there's nothing wrong with that because Libra is is a we sign you're the sign of the balance the scales fairness and justice for all but you've lost that element of the me and spirit needs you to find that again because that element for some of you all has been lost Within the external, the deep, the deep, look, the deep blue sea of the external of other people's shit and other people's views, which are not beneficial to you. And they don't feel good, do they? That shit heavy. Put it down, Libra. You've come too far. All right? So let's get it. Spirit, what do you have for my Libras in love? Between now and December. Some of you all are definitely healing. And it could be from a situation where someone was juggling, okay? I feel that, yes, this did, you did feel betrayed. You did feel, you did feel like someone stabbed you in the back. For some of you all, this could have been a Sagittarius. For some of you all, this could have been a Capricorn towards Virgo. But I feel like Libra is in this place of healing during this time. And healing from situations where you felt stuck or you felt trapped as if you couldn't move based on other people's opinions that you allowed yourself to believe. During this time, a lot of you guys are going to be putting that same energy into yourself. Some of you all have an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. Either you want to nurture, nurture the relationship and push things forward, or this person does, but they're going about it the wrong way. For this person, some of y'all have a very insecure 
air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your energy. And for some of you, it's an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel that either you've been trying to end a cycle with this person or there's a cycle that's needing to end during this time. But someone is not fully letting it go. And it definitely had to do with a third party situation. Someone who you could have walked away from trying to nurture yourself. Okay, this could also have to do with the Pisces or a Scorpio. But I feel like someone is really watching to see if you're moving on during this time. Someone who you could have moved away from. This could be a karmic partner. But I feel like this person couldn't offer your life nothing but third party energy. And, and yet they want to stalk. They want to stalk. But they don't want to talk. Some of you all. Out of a third party situation, could have be, could have came secrets and things, okay, that were hidden under the sun. La Luna says, I will illuminate everything during this time. Some of y'all are going to find out through stalking that you're dealing with the Pisces person who could have actually started a new relationship with the fire sign. Or if you're dealing with the fire sign, this person could be dealing with the water sign or earth sign. But there's definitely some third party energy. And it's a cycle that's really needing to be closed out. It's literally spirit just pushing your ass off the cliff. A catalytic situation to growth and evolution to make you choose yourself. How much more, can you, how much more do you feel that you deserve, Libra? How much is enough? When is enough enough? Okay. For some of you all, yeah, you're ending cycles and you're going into new ones. For some of you all, you could definitely be closing out a cycle uh, with the Leo, with the Taurus, with an Aquarius or with the Scorpio to have something new. OK, for some of you all, it's a new financial endeavor. And for some of you all, it's just a new looking for fulfillment, victory, victoriously moving forward. But after leaving someone out in the cold. Or possibly elevating. Someone could have also left y'all having to do with finances. Like somebody elevated. And they let money get the best of them. But they ass really finna know what it feel. What goes up must come down. Never remember, never forget that, okay? Always remember that, baby. It feel good going up. Some of you all. Some of y'all have a past life relationship, okay? And I feel like you could have walked away from this person. And you're really wanting to move forward victoriously and completely in the cycle. For some of y'all, it's the Aries. For some of y'all, it's the Leo. And for some of y'all, it's definitely someone who you could have been married to or have this structure. But I feel like for some of you all, ooh, yeah, some of you all have an Aquarian person, okay? Some of y'all been trying to manifest a fire sign or marriage from a fire sign. And spirits say you're going to get exactly what you want. But some of you all, you're moving away from third party energy and possibly leaving the marriage and you you putting in that work you putting in that work for yourself by yourself. Some of you all are moving away from your job and moving to a new job. And I feel like a lot of y'all have been in fear mode from this, not knowing you got a bunch of options. Speaking of options, some of y'all got a fire sign who need to choose between starting something new with you and committing to you or reconciling with someone from their past, possibly another fire sign, okay? Some of you guys are just focused on during this time moving forward, moving forward to stability, security, someone who can nurture you, someone who can fulfill me. But some of you all, you could be dealing with another Libra. Some of y'all dealing with Aquarius. Some of y'all dealing with Aries. Some of y'all dealing with Sag and, uh, and Leo. Some of y'all dealing with Virgo. Some of you guys uh, are dealing with Taurus and Capricorn as well. But some of you all are definitely feeling stuck in the marriage and you're just really wanting this sense of renewal. You're needing to feel a sense of like resurgence, okay, in order for things to move forward. But it starts within you and how you choose to view it and what actions that you're willing to put in for not only for yourself, but for the relationship if that is what you're passionate about. Some A relationship is about compromise on two ends. You understand? You can't get on the, you can't ride the ship and coast on the damn ship if the other damn person ain't willing to drive. I mean, who, who going to drive it? I mean, somebody got to ride and somebody got to drive and then we got to take turns on the coast part. But the effort needs to be made or you need to get real and see things for what they are. Time and my peace are valuable. I cannot pay for that. So that will not be taken from me. And it's expensive. Can't get it back. Okay, it's expensive. Let's clarify. Yeah, let's clarify. Ooh. What is this hangman for Libra? Show me why is the hangman here. Yeah, some of you all have been dealing. Some of you all could be being very defensive towards um, a Sagittarius person, okay? Or have that person being defensive towards you, possibly after some form of betrayal, okay? And after you move forward. For some of you all, okay, 
you really move. Some of you all have a fire sign moving forward away from you, or you could be moving forward away from a fire sign, okay? And it's definitely after some type of betrayal and healing. Some of you all, yeah, some of you all were betrayed um, by family. For some of you all, some of y'all could be cutting off family during this time. Some of y'all got an earth sign that has to make a decision as well between the family situation, okay, or, or renewing a family situation. But some of y'all have an earth sign in y'all energy that's juggling you guys and a water sign, okay, or fire. Some of y'all are healing from a Leo, okay, after releasing this person. Some of you guys have to end a cycle with someone who could possibly be a Taurus, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or a Leo due to a third party, okay? But you have to end this cycle because spirit has something new to bless you with. I have new blessings, bountiful blessings, abundant blessings for my Libra, but you have to let go, baby. Don't hold on so tight. Why is this third three of swords here? Yeah, some of y'all feel stuck in a third party situation, okay? Or this could be um, a fire sign as well in your energy as well. That feels stuck in a third party situation. And some of y'all are indecisive on if you want to move forward, away, like move forward beyond the third party, forgive, you know, learn the lesson and move forward and correct it. And I feel like Libra, you are willing to do this, okay? One sec. You are willing to put in this work, Libra, okay? I feel that you are willing to put in the work. But whoever this is stalking and watching who got caught in this third party situation. They still on that sneaky shit. They still on that sneaky shit. And that's why the moon is here. And for some of you all, it could definitely involve a Pisces or a Sagittarius, okay? Or a Leo. But there's definitely secrets around it. Some of y'all could find out that someone is having a baby, okay? Um, or someone could have actually gotten someone pregnant due, uh, with the third party situation. But here's the tea and the kicker. <laughs> this may or may not be this person's child. That's the kicker. But that was a catalyst situation to detach you and pull you from something that Spirit said no more. That's not right. You're not supposed to be there. You have somewhere to be, Libra. And that is recreating your world of happiness. For some of you all, you are going to be finding out that you're pregnant. Okay? Congratulations because Mocha loves the kids. But some of y'all are going to find out that you're having a baby by either a Pisces, an Aries, a Taurus, a Virgo, or another Libra, okay? And I feel like there is victory moving forward, okay? And I feel like some of y'all are afraid of this change. Like, y'all like, oh, my, what am I going to do? But some of y'all haven't found out yet. You will be finding out <laughs> between the 1st and the 15th of December. Congratulations, Mocha, love the kids. But some of you all, like I said, somebody has to make a decision, okay? They have two choices. And I feel like whoever this is, they comfortable as fuck. They have a choice in reconciling their family, okay, or choosing the choice that they're, or choosing someone who they have maybe in the past not been willing to see their substance, or maybe in the past they weren't willing to see this person for who they are, but now this person wants to move away from they ass and start something new, either you or the other person, Libra, now people want to reconcile. Oh, now you want, oh, now you want to fix it. Keep that same energy. Why is the Seven of Cups here for my Libras? Clarify the Seven of Cups. Yeah. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who has a lot of options. Okay, Libra, this could be you or the other person. This could even be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I feel like somebody is dealing with someone or, or, or dealing with someone who has a lot of options because, baby, they have low self-esteem, baby. They don't know how to be alone. You're dealing with somebody who has all these options because they live in this victimized-ass place. And they need that comfort, that crutch. It's not to say that any of these damn crutches got any type of substance to them. To be honest with you, they all bullshit. But you can't force a person to see what's right in front of them. Or you can't force a person to see what they have. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who just truly ungrateful. They're ungrateful and you're seeking love from someone who really don't love themselves because this person have abandonment issues. Whoever this is, this person have issues with accepting things. They live in a victimized ass mentality and only thing they want to talk about is the past, which is keeping the relationship stagnant and keeping third party energy coming in because you can't see what the hell, how we're progressing going forward because you still want to live in three, four, five years ago. Let it go. Let it go. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah. Some of you all, some of you all could have actually left a situation 
and possibly went back and had uh, some type of little fun, a one night stand or some type of relations with your ex. OK, especially if you're dealing with the uh, uh, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you could have actually went back with this person and tried to go restart or re re renew a relationship. And I feel like it wasn't really working the way that you wanted to. Then, boom, someone gets pregnant and then, bam. Spirit says, what you scared for? You got all the resources that you need. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Stop overthinking about it. It's the overthinking that makes it scary. Some of y'all are going to be starting new jobs. Congratulations, baby. I love growth and, pro the growth and progress. Some of y'all... <laughs> Some of y'all are trying to put in and work something, work a situation out. I feel this is a reconciliation um, scenario. Thank you, Spirit. I feel this is a recon reconciliation scenario where somebody is trying to reconcile with someone who's extremely toxic. I feel that you've done the work, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn. I feel that you've done the work, okay? And some of y'all could also be connecting with a Capricorn that you work with. Some of y'all are healing from the relationship with the Leo. Or an Aries person that you could have been married with, and you're manifesting and, and you're manifesting love, but you're really needing to move forward from this lack mindset of what you don't have and how you weren't how you weren't enough and how this person made you feel like you weren't good enough. Okay, because some of y'all you're needing to see the judgment for what it is. Make that judgment call. You can't grow by keeping the same motherfucker who broke you in your energy. You can't heal with what hurt you in the first place. So you need to make that judgment call. For some of you, it's having to do with the marriage. For some of you, it's having to do with a fire sign. Some of y'all are telling someone, look, you a cheater. I accept the fact that you a little old, little old ho, and I'm not going to keep doing, I'm not going to keep doing this with you. And so you're going to respect me, or you can let the damn dough hit you with a good Lord should have split you and kiss my ass, Okay. Because it's, 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 I'm not going to remain unhappy because you don't want to fix yourself. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. God is not the author of confusion. So don't, don't let another motherfucker try to twist and spin your mind up. Okay? But some of you all, some of you all, you have a fire. You want to take a leap of faith towards someone. And I, for some of y'all, it's an Aries person. I feel like you want to take a leap of faith towards this person because you really want victory with this person. You want to manifest this person. But I feel that you're going to have to move away from them because this person, I feel like, walks around a bit bruised and battered. They still have really not truly learned how to trust themselves. Or for that matter, they really truly haven't really learned. Or for them, I don't say learn. For some of them, they ain't really done dealing with their karmic lessons. And this is why they're being defensive towards you. Some of y'all, you could be trying to uh, take a leap of faith with the Aries who could be actually dealing with an Aquarius person. And I feel like you need to let it let the actual complete separation take place okay but some of you all you moving towards the soulmate connection some y'all moving away from, towards the damn leo some y'all moving towards the air sign some y'all just moving towards love pure love the love that is for me and i will feel and i will know because i know what it's like to deal with bullshit so this love will i be able to recognize because i had the bullshit first so you got to thank, thank you, God. Thank you, spirit, for the bullshits. Because this is how I know this is where I'm supposed to be. Some of y'all could have had an uh, earth sign who you had children with. Could have left you out in the cold. Some of y'all could have been a, a water sign. You could have left a water sign out in the cold. Even though there's love there, I feel that it had to do with some form of stability. Okay. You could have children with this person. Some of y'all, this could be the person y'all find out y'all pregnant with. Some of you all want to victoriously move away from a past life relationship with the fire sign. I feel that you really want victory with this person, okay? But I feel like this person still has some karmic lessons that they have to go through to be able to fully recognize the connection. But some of you all, you're ending the cycle with the asshole and taking the cup and moving slowly. With loving without expectation so that when things don't go your way or if they do not go your way, you don't allow yourself to become irritated or discouraged because you felt like in order to love, you have to have some type of cap of control of the situation. Not so, uh, Libra. Some of y'all definitely dealing with Leo. I'm going to say Leo. Yeah. Some of you all, okay? Some of y'all want to manifest someone who equally gives and takes. Okay, and some of y'all gonna get y'all damn wish. 
in the form of an earth sign. Some of y'all in the form of a water sign, but it's after. You truly walk away from what does not serve you. But some of y'all, y'all is dealing with a damn alcoholic. And it's time to say enough is enough. Enough is enough. Okay? Enough is enough. For some of you all, it's moving forward away from someone who juggles and who does not give equally to you and your situation. For some of you all, you're moving away from a cancer, okay? Or moving towards a cancer. But you're definitely ending cycles. Some of y'all ending cycles with Aquarius. As soon as you do, you are wondering, okay, well, mobile, why can't I move forward financially? Some of y'all on the brink of some brand new financial blessing. Some of y'all literally hearing the word miracle, believe in miracles. Spirit said they come to turn it all around. Release that lack. Release that past life soulmate. Okay? But some of y'all, y'all could actually be hearing from the legal system regarding children, okay? And this could have something to do with an Aries person or the father of your children. And I feel like this is the releasing of a burdensome situation for some time. Karma is on your side, Libra, and you will get your just due. Just wait on it, baby, and trust the process and know that it is coming, okay? And you do have options. You have options. Now, I'm going to tell you like I told you about your person. Some of them ain't shit. But out of these seven, there is two that's going to be possibly worth something. But you have to trust yourself and truly, truly love yourself and stand firm in your own confidence. Stand firm in your own work and stand firm in your own truth and know it ain't what the fuck they said is what you answered to. Because spirit, spirit wants you to win. Wants you to have everything you've been trying to manifest. Everything under the sun. The moon is trying to illuminate it to you. Your happiness. Will you listen? Will you change? Will you cut off what needs to be cut off? Will you walk away from the victimized, toxic ass person? And take flight. And trust the movement. Because if you trust the movement, not only will things flourish and blossom for you, baby, but you'll get to see, appreciate, and truly indulge in every piece of it. You know why? Because you deserve it. That's why. And don't let nobody else tell you nothing different. And if they do, tell them, Mocha, get the damn bill, because I don't play. Okay? I love y'all, Libras. This is what I have for y'all between the 1st and the 15th of December. If you need that personal, hit me up, y'all. Much love, much light, much much abundance. Many, 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 many healing vibes sent to you, baby. It's time to win. Are you ready? Because it's your season two. You deserve it. Congratulations, Libra. It's graduation time. I love y'all. Namaste. Mwah.